Winter Cut Day 80 boys. Today we are doing chest. Uh, I'm actually recording this after my chest day because the first recording I did was super weird, like the audio got all choppy. But either way, I'm gonna pretend like I still have it in the future. Boys, today we're gonna hit some insane heavy incline press. It's gonna be the heaviest incline press you've ever seen. Not really. Uh, and then, you know, hit some Smith Machine flat bench, some dumbbell flies, you know, go heavy, everything heavy. I will see you guys in the gym. Let's see, I'm definitely not gonna be doing that for a warm up. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it. You want me to leave these here though? Cause I'm probably gonna go up. You're gonna go up? Yeah, so this is my warm up. It's 160 together? All right, I'll try it. I mean, don't, don't push this. <laughs> we'll see. Don't make me feel like I'm, you know, just, outdoing you in it. Nah, dude, you're, you're fine. I I just, to be honest, I don't feel like grabbing 55s or something, so. Ah, oh, shit. It's weird when the last time I did this, this would have been like impossible. You know what I'm saying? Well, you've been working out consistently, so now it's just really That's weird. Muscle. That's weird, bro. You keep me sick? What's up? You still doing these? Uh, I'll probably go up to like 90 and see what happens. I got you. So I'll put those back if you don't, you don't want them? No, I'm done. All right, this probably won't go up, but we'll see what happens. Stability gets to you, man. Jeez. <laughs> What's up? I see you still doing these 85s. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick to that. I got you. Whoa. That's a lot out of you, huh? Yeah, dude. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Easy, come on. Yes. That move nice. We'll do hundreds. You do hundreds? Yeah, persistent giggles. I ain't trying to get too heavy though. You got it easy. That'll be easy for you. I'm trying to stay like my eight to 10 rep range though. That's the thing, when you're on the bulk though, like when I was 180, I feel like I could sit still a lot better. Well, yeah, because you, you got excess weight, you got excess fat. Yeah. When you cut, when you lean out, you lose all that. Yeah, that's right. You cool spot me for this? Yeah, I got you. All right. You want me to stay at your wrists or your elbows? Ah, uh, elbows if you don't mind. Whoa, get back here. So what? Bring him in, you got it. Easy money. Come on, you got it. Don't stop the point of most resistance, you got it. Come on, keep pushing. 
One, one more. Let's go, drive, drive, drive. You got it. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. That was a fantastic spot. That was nice, dude. I'm, I don't have big people spot me usually. You said what? I don't have big guys spot me usually. Well, I was about to ask just to make sure because, like, you have to, like, you gotta, like, be on the same page, you know? You gotta. What's going on, guys? How's it going? Like, you gotta right? see, like, if they want wrist, elbows, how much they're going for a lift off. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind, man. You wanna do 95s? Oh, yeah. Here. <laughs> See, I'm about to go to 100. Huh? That's it. Yeah, your fans are on. It's like 70 degrees outside. What's up, Mark? Yeah, no, it's like 60. It's like 40. No, it wasn't. It was, it was a little bit warmer. It might have been like 47. <laughs> well, you, got, you got it. Maybe like 50. I get 50. Oh, sh Come on, bring him in. Bring him in. You got it. On, you oh. Go. All right, help with one more. No, I want two more. All right, all right. I don't know what I was thinking that rep. You on that racing chicken diet, bro. Nah, probably. I think it's just that I got a pump and I'm in good lighting, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're just being nice. You're just trying to make me feel good.
You know what, boys? Soldiers are feeling a little achy. I think I'm just gonna give this a break. Call it quits for shoulder stuff for today. I'm just gonna go over and hit the tricep push down. So is this gonna fall off? Uh, can you go behind that? Yeah, maybe. You can hook it. Oh, we'll get the engineer in here. Let's see. I think I did like eight. I don't know, it just felt like eight. I didn't really count. Ah, look at how easy that is for him. Woo. You said what? It looks easy for you. Shit, kind of. Okay. I'm good off my one set. We're gonna go do some posing. All right, boys. Pump cover, which is hardly a pump cover, is coming off. Gonna hit a little posing. We gotta get out of here quick because they're starting up a class.
Ah, all right. That was a solid posing session. I'm super freaking carved up. I got all kinds of freaking energy. Lift went great today. PR'd, uh, incline dumbbell press, kind of by a mile. I mean, I'm way stronger than I used to be on that. I hit 85s, very easy for a warm up. Well, I stumbled a little bit, but it still felt easy. And then I hit 95s, but I didn't let my ego get to me and go for the hundreds. So that was solid. Uh, and also, notable, very, very different having a big person spot me. If you guys don't have any big people spotting you, you're definitely missing out on some gains because having my brother spot me, you know, he's around my size. He's not super huge. Uh, Number one, since he's not super tall, he doesn't have the best leverage over the weight when he's spotting, you know, so he has to kind of like overreach. He doesn't have a stable base. And on top of that, um, you know, when you're smaller, it's harder to spot just because you're lighter, most likely than whatever you're helping somebody with. So like if I'm doing 95 each hand and my spotter only weighs 170, you know, that's, you can do the math. That would be pretty difficult to spot, so. Yeah, definitely. Like I don't, I didn't feel like I was straining my spotter at all, if that makes sense, which normally I kind of do. So <sighs> anyway, um, I am going to head out. All right. That was a good workout. I'll see you guys later. You have to demand it. You have to promise yourself. This is it right here. You have to promise yourself that you will not ever be a failure have to marry this thought pattern so when you get to the gym i don't care if you're on your deathbed and you're dying and it hurts anything you have to promise yourself before you get there that you are not going to go home a loser you go into the gym you want success All right, boys, you might be thinking, is this Tom Platt I'm watching? Is this, you know, Ronnie Coleman? Insert great bodybuilder. I mean, this is just freaking Max Sharkey, okay? So, hope this video was, you know, fantastic for you guys. I tried my best to just make it pretty good, you know. Enjoyed some time with some buddies at the gym. Grabbed some heavy weight. Hoisted some heavy iron. Well, I guess it's kind of just rubber weights at LA Fitness, but still, we'll just call it iron for the sake of the idea. And uh, yeah, so I want, I mean, here's the thing, guys. I edit a lot of my videos kind of just throughout the day. I don't have like a set time to edit. I just kind of edit after, like immediately after I record sometimes. Sometimes I do it when I just have free time or whatever. And uh, I had the opportunity to, watch through some of the lifting um and i noticed a couple of things so one the incline dumbbell press moved really well right there were some bumps in the road the occasional just left arm giving out or whatever but it moved really smoothly which i was surprised about because all i ever do is smith so that was nice and then you know after that moving on to the actually no we're not going to move that far ahead yet let's keep talking about incline dumbbell so i've had it on my mind for a while and today i, I came in with, to the gym with full intention of doing two plates for 10 on the smith machine incline but then i just had a feeling i'm like i should just do dumbbell so i went did dumbbell enjoyed it um and i really think there's potential on the bulk to get up to the 125s get the heaviest dumbbells in for you know a ton of reps and just get a ton of succulent strided mass okay so definitely 
uh, looking forward to that. When that time comes, I think it's gonna happen and it's gonna blow up my chest. Chest is gonna be absolutely humongous and harmonious with the rest of my physique. Um, and the funny thing is, guys, you know, I have been training my chest pretty optimally. I don't like that word that much because it's thrown around a lot, but I've been training my chest pretty optimally at this point for a while. And even on the cut, I'm seeing pretty insane gains. So I'm excited to see, you know, where my chest development goes on the bulk. Because, you know, literally recently, you know, within, you know, four or five months ago, all kind of people would tell me how bad my chest is. You know, oh bro, your chest is underdeveloped and it's it's weak. And now I have people saying, oh man, it's a strong point on you or this or that, or it looks really good or your chest and your arms look good. And to think that I've brought up the bird pigeon, you know, bird pigeon syndrome chest and got it to something that looks decent is always, you know, nice to hear. So, you know, I did that through means of heavy Smith machine incline. You guys could watch all my chest days. All I did was heavy Smith machine incline presses and I just progressively overloaded that. I kept sticking to two plates and I would just raise the reps or the, you know, get the form better each session. I would pause. I would do, you know, slow eccentrics. I, I tried it with a lot of different things, but the reality is I stayed very consistent and I've been doing incline Smith machine press for a very long time. So I think that's where the gains come in, guys. Uh, you know, there's always beauty in trying new things and experimenting, right? But the real beauty is in the consistency and looking back on what you did and how it turned out. And I could proudly say that after sticking to incline Smith for a very, very, very long time. The gains have more than shown themselves and I'm excited for our little dumbbell pressing journey. As I said before, uh, you know, earlier on in the video, the stability is a little bit shaky, but it's whatever. So, especially on the bulk though, that's gonna, that, that's gonna be a pretty much non-existent problem. Um, you know, the more we practice and the more weight we get on, uh, we're gonna be able to do heftier loads and just move the weights with ease. So, like a Clydesdale, okay? Like an absolute Chad, jacked Wolverine, X-Men beast, okay? And I mean, that's the reality of the bulk. So, it, it, the one thing I'm just so surprised about though is the fact that I'm gaining so much muscle on the cut. And you guys are sleeping on it now, right? Like here on the channel, you know, I have some loyal viewers. I have like probably like five people, five to 10 people who really watch me. And you know, you guys know that when I blow up one day, when I go super viral, you're gonna look back and be like, I saw all the work he put in and the consistency. You know what I'm saying? And all that uh, effort, right? And it's gonna equal up to something eventually. And I'm very happy about that, so. Now, as for how's the shoulder feeling, all right, I tweaked my shoulder a little bit during that session. Um, it's feeling a little bit sus, um, just a little bit, a little bit like, I mean, I don't even know, like tender. I don't even know what the right word is for it, but it happened to both shoulders uh, just from, I think, doing a lot of volume on, you know, presses and flies and whatnot, but that's fine. It definitely was not something that I can't recover from. And I didn't do anything significant enough that actually hurt my shoulders. So uh, I'm just going to take this, though, as a little warning and just be mindful about my volume. You know, I don't think I'm going to change it. But the one thing I might stop doing is side raises on my chest day. I might just keep them on shoulder day. And I think that that would probably work out better for my overall shoulder health and recovery because... You know, shoulder volume is pretty inescapable in that a lot of people, you know, like to mess around with joint angles and say, well, if I did incline press, that's not the same as overhead press. So, you know, it's not really gonna hurt my joints if I do too much volume. But the reality is, uh, at least for me, 
Like if I do incline press, that has a lot of overlap with my overhead press. And uh, if, I, if I do like way too much volume, which I have in the past, it could give me some issues with the shoulder joint. So um, just experimenting with that, figuring out my own body's recovery in regards to, you know, my tendons and everything and ligaments and shoulder structure. Um, so that's the beauty of it though. Like even if you get a little bit of a tweak, that's just a learning experience, right? That's just a learning experience and it'll make you wiser and you'll get to learn more about your body. The more I learn about lifting, the more I realize that truly it is just doing what's right for you. And if you really find something that you enjoy, just rinse and repeat, keep doing it, man. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.